गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम सूरज अग्रवाल एंड यू आर वाचिंग योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल गार्डनिंग माई पैसन फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू ग्रो इम पेसेंस फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स आई टेल यू दिस इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स फॉर विंटर सीजन बिकॉज दे वेरी वेरी इजी टू ग्रो एंड इट फ्लावर्स मोर देन हंड्रेड फ्लावर्स एट ए टाइम एवरी डे दे ब्लो मोर फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड फ्लावर्स एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट इज यू कैन ग्रो इन बेलकोनी एरिया हुए Three to four hours sunlight is enough for growing. You can grow in balcony three to four hours sunlight, or if you want, you can grow in five to six or seven hours sunlight is enough. Now, very very important thing: how to prepare the soil mixer. That I'll tell you. Two tricks are there. Two tips are there. Firstly, you take any of the best quality garden soil. That should be forty percent of the garden soil. In that mix, twenty percent vermic compost. Twenty percent vermic compost is nice combination for this. And add. 20% coco peat because they'll retain the moisture of the uh, soil and because they will flower every day hundreds flowers so you have to add little bit of coco peat if you don't have little coco peat then you can skip that also and here i am adding 3 years old uh, cow dung compost they look like soil but this is cow dung compost and uh, if you have 1 year or 2 years old cow dung compost that you can also add or if you don't have this kinds of element then you add 50 uh, 50 and then this is uh, the secret is they add super phosphate single super phosphate the nursery people add single super phosphate because they allow the roots to grow and ramify very very fast and they make the soil very very soft and easily accessible for the roots to grow very very fast so this is the soil mix if you don't find so many things then uh, maybe 50% vermi compost and 50% garden soil will also do your mixer and add around 1 to 2 fish pool of single super phosphate they contains lots of phosphorus and lots of calcium so yeah for this plant this is very very essential now let me mix and uh, at the end of the video i'll uh, share another tricks that uh, nursery people add in this impatience and in impatience flowering is easy very very easy everyone can grow it and in one month time you will say that will attain a big size plant about more than hundreds of branches and all they will bloom uh, around up to june up to june you can get flowers from here so this is the important flowering plants for your uh, winter season now pot is very very important this is the clay pot around there are three holes at the bottom if you don't have three holes then one hole also will do so here i am covering the holes with a broken piece of this uh, uh, pot and here so that no soil can come out from here but there should be proper drainage for water so this is here i am adding this uh, kind of uh, broken piece and now fill up the soil uh, fill up the soil in such a way that you have to up to the top 2 inch should be uh, empty and then add the flower plant the uh, flower plant and then uh, add again soil mixer here and then i will tell you how to add water how to apply water this is very, very also important so before that i am filling up the soil here and after that just see how i am Uh, taking out the plant from the pot so this is also important uh, this is the way how you can take out the whole plant the root ball is very very important intact root ball with all the roots and putting at the center of the pot and then uh, add soil at around the uh, whole plant in the pot and up to the top one inch portion should be empty and uh, add soil because uh, one inch area should be kept empty because you have to add time to time fertilizer time to time watering you have to do so this is very very important now i'll tell you how to water it and what should be mixed with the soil the nursery people this is very very important secret for uh, growing this impatience plant especially impatience and petunia the, these two plants they add the liquid that i am showing you which liquid they add let me fill up the soil properly and then i am going to apply water here this is the plant ready now watering is very very important first time water it full and next time every alternate day or every day water sprinkle water little bit and keep the plant in 2 uh, to 3 days i'll keep it in semi arid area then i'll take out in full sun or if you want you can keep the plant in 3 hours sunlight is enough for growing this is the thing humic acid this is humic acid you can uh, get it in from any nursery maybe liquid or from powder form this is the humic acid from huminol uh, levix agricum any brand will do 
around 2 ml per liter i am adding in water and this water you should apply on the plants so that the roots will be ramified feeder roots will be enormous number of feeder roots will grow and uh, they will uh, add lots of lots of branches in your plant and as a result huge number of birds will come and they will bloom every day you can get more than 100 flowers i have some video in my channel you can see the more the branches more the birds more the flowers will you see and in more than hundreds of flowers every day they will bloom from this plant so this is the very very important and if you want you can add liquid uh, mustard cake fertilizer in 10 days once in 10 days uh, that is the only food you have to add else you don't have to add anything else so hope you enjoyed the video i am going to keep it in full sunlight so hope you enjoyed the video if you had a like the video please give it a like give it a thumbs up if you're new to, uh, new to my channel please subscribe my channel thank you very much